Hello, everyone, and welcome to Ibridix again. Um, our lectures about the Power BI business intelligence tool is going forward, and today's topic is about making your um, Power BI reports more organized. That's one of my problems. Like until now, I've used to be more focused on the um, operational part of the reports. Like it was enough for me that report works uh, functionally correctly and everything is correct and without the errors and so on. But I wasn't taking given that much attention to the organization of the of the report. That. But did this lead me to a trouble because then um, when the reports are getting bigger and bigger and greater and greater, um, um, there's just one problem that you may mm, encounter in this uh, way. It's you are going to get lost and you're not going to be able to be as flexible as fast as you used to be when, at the beginning of the reports so that's why i'm gonna introduce you now a topic of the uh creating the folders for your variables right so let's go to the no, no, so let's go there so on your dashboard you're gonna have the data here but the problem that you're not gonna see all the variables here some variables are hidden, so that's why on the final dashboard, you are not going to see that. So on this table here, when the report view, you, you will not be able to see hidden. Uh, um, you, you can do and hide all, but I wouldn't recommend you to, to do that because it's making your dashboard uh, messy, confusing, because most of them are the keys that are connect in different tables. Let me show you what, what tables are connected. So on this model, you have the schema in which uh, in the middle you have the uh, fact table, which are the seals. Then you have different um, dimension data, like product, reseller, customer, date table, and so on and so forth. But it's not a topic of today. today. Today's topic is how to create the folders and to make it all organized. If we're gonna expand the sales uh, table here, you see that we see all of them, um, all the hidden uh, variables, hidden columns that we didn't see on the report view, but we see on the model view. In this view, what we can do is to click on one of those. First, we are gonna click on this. And then first, um, let's say we wanna create the measures folder so i'm gonna click on the measure switch measure for example this one is switching from the sales amount to the sales quantity right and what we're gonna do display folder and we're gonna write the name of the folder measures click enter and now what we see here we have the measures right and under measures we got the switch measure and if we want to add other things under this but if we're gonna like expand this and uh, we're gonna see the so i want to add all the measures in this folder so one by one i'm adding all of them or uh i have never tried to add them uh as a group let me see yeah or by clicking the control and uh, holding them you can add them all in in once so this is how you're creating your then you can create the other one for example for the keys i want to create the uh, folder what are gonna be keys right keys and this folder is gonna be called keys and I'm gonna store all the keys in this folder. So there is no fixed rule, so you can use uh, this function in order to facilitate your work, right? 
So see you next time. Hope it was useful for you and um, hope it's going to help you to make better, more readable, more organized dashboards. And um, if you are want, by the way, if you are, if you want to get these um, tables and if you want to get the, this dashboard, these models, you can contact me. So I'm going to share with you the just leave the comment. I'm going to share with you the adventure works um, database. So you can use this database of the advanced work, which is made uh, available for those who are practicing the Power BI and the DAX.